Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, a warm welcome to you today. In today's video, we are basically documenting the day before Azalea's Taekwondo testing for Yellow Belt. On this day, I decided to take her to the pool to kind of relax. She was very nervous and she kept telling me that she was nervous about the testing and that she was not sure if she wanted to go ahead and do it. So I told her it is okay. This is a extracurricular activity for her and she's very young and it's very new and it's okay to be nervous and you know, it's okay to be scared, but when you push through that nervousness and that self-doubt i did not tell her about self-doubt but <laughs> when you push through that nervousness and that self-doubt and you actually prove yourself wrong then you're going to feel so much happy and she was like okay mommy i doubt she understood but um she was a little bit calm and ready to like enjoy the day so here i am teaching her how to float it took a lot of talking like she was not able to relax she was tensing up we have been coming to the pool once every week to kind of get her swimming get her relaxing and kind of helping her to learn how to relax in the water and how to allow her body to float and i think that's paying off because today i was able to release her and she was floating on her own and she was just so happy and so proud of herself and that is what i'm trying to push on her because she she can be like really really shy when it comes on to things and new anything new actually and i can't wrong her for it because i was also one of those children that was very shy and res re really reserved kind of and I wasn't outspoken. So I'm trying to not let her grow up with the nerves I grew up with because that brought me all the way into college. So I'm trying to break it out of her from an early age. I did that with my little sister where my little sister is very outspoken now and she's not fearful of asking questions when she is in places where she don't understand what they're talking about. She asks what is that and even when people laugh at her or people make it seem like she's dumb or whatever, it's like she still asks her questions and she gets the answers that she needs and that is why I'm so proud of my little sister. She's graduating with her bachelor's of science in our law our bachelor's in law whatever she's not whatever but she's graduating with her law degree and i'm super proud of her because if she was not able to speak up and ask questions and go to lecturers after certain um classes and kind of get a better understanding of certain things and have conversations about okay i got this question wrong but why did i get it wrong and getting those answers it is such a good thing for um development uh, even in school and outside of school but yeah i want azalea to be that little girl growing up and not being fearful of asking questions because of how she think others are going to see her so i'm doing all these little things for her to gain that confidence as she gets older and it move from just her move from her personal life but more to her um into school so yeah we're just going to enjoy the pool it's a beautiful day i realize that the community pool is like less people are here in the morning so i'm able to basically enjoy the pool with nobody splashing or playing and hitting us or throwing stuff it's just the two of us in our own little world in this moment so i really did enjoy this day so yeah this is us at the pool
sir? Yes, sir. Starting to finish all by yourself. Count. Strong forward stance. Bend your knee. Finish really strong. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. Ready? Go. So after pool, I brought her to the Taekwondo class and then tomorrow is testing. So they're practicing their 20 steps and Azalea, I don't know if it's nerves or what it was, but she was kind of missing up on a little bit. And then after on like the second try, she did really well and I was super proud of her. So the teacher did stop and talk to her and kind of give her a little pep talk to say, hey, don't look at the other kids around you. Just focus on your steps, your count, okay? And don't rush through it. You don't have to rush through it. And she did amazing. She ended very, very strong. And I was super proud of her. There it is. Double punch. Go! Ah! Yes! You step back again. Hands up. Ready? Go! Ah! Ah! Oh. You're showing me. So after Taekwondo, we came home, had dinner with Ryan, Ryan leave out and gone to work. And then I kind of get Azalea set and now I'm in the office because <clears throat> I'm going to check some emails as it relates to school because Azalea is going to be changing schools. So I'm going to check some emails and deal with some paperwork for that and also trying to get this book in crystal zodiac i got it from the library and as i'm on this journey to basically find my purpose in life because i'm always on this journey of like finding where i want to really be in life um i'm starting to read more starting to research my history and all of those other things but those are my personal stuff i'm not gonna bore no with that but tomorrow azalea has testing for her yellow belt for taekwondo i'm so nervous for her we've been practicing but no matter how you practice like you can take confidence and put it in the child she have to be confident within herself i'm gonna talk to her about this constantly so i'm hoping that tomorrow that that confidence will come out and she will achieve her goals um other than that she has her 20 steps down she has some of the um vocabulary down but still working on that her kicks are good but still working on that but all in all i think she will do well tomorrow i'm just praying for the best so yeah I'm going to finish doing what I'm doing in the office and then I head to bed with her. She has school in the morning, our final day at camp and our final day at that school. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. It is testing day and we are all excited. All these kids are so excited. The parents are excited and Azalea got to see one of her school friends and she was so excited they they these two that you see they're talking and playing around they act like such little adults and i love it for them they communicate so well but yes here they are testing and basically they're doing it in twos so we were able to watch them do all of the routine that they normally do and then at the end of it they'll do their 20 steps no i'm good with her kicks like her kicks are so good and she follows instructions well but when it comes on to a routine i think that is where she kind of get thrown off because she's looking to her master for reassurance and he cannot help her she has to be confident in what she is doing and she's able to correct herself and everything but sometimes she's not but all in all, they ended out pretty strong and they all got certified. They got their little certificate and they're advancing. And I am super, super, super proud of all these students. As we call our names, let's give them a round of applause for their promotions today. For promotions, we yell it out. Azalea! <laughs> old belt please and fold it neatly the best you can 
and put it next to you for you to use. And once you have done that, you'll pick up your new bill. Did I tie that one too? Sounds like a boy. Look at that little smile. You can see how proud she is of herself and how happy she is to be putting on her yellow belt. And I am all giggling side because she did it. You know, she overcame her fear. And look at her admiring her belt. And one of her friends was congratulating her and I felt so proud of her because, you know, they all did their thing. They all worked for it and they all got their new belts and I'm super, super proud of them. Hello, guys. So, I'm, I'm at Taekwondo and I always get shy, but when I do the, my best, I get I get new things. I'm in yellow belt and I'm so excited but I but I but I give up but but I I start going again so because my taekwondo teacher has teach me everything that is in yellow belt. Okay, so are you excited? So, are you excited for your new journey? Yes. Okay. Are you going to try to push through your fear? Yes. Okay. And I know you were a little shy today because you did not know everything, but you know that eventually you are going to learn everything and you're going to get it right, correct? Yes. Okay. So... All the best in Yellow Bell class. And I am super, super proud of you. Yes, Mommy. Well, today was a great day. But next week is going to be my birthday. And I can't wait. And you can't wait. Yes. All right. We're going to end the video here. So goodbye, guys. No, not goodbye yet. Okay, right. Mommy. Say, see, see you later. Now we're, we're keep going to talk. No, we have to continue. We're going to talk about it next week. Let's, let's do a video next week and then we'll recap your birthday. How about that? Yes, but what do that mean? That means that we're going to do a vlog and then you and I are going to sit and look at the video and we're going to talk about it, okay? What's a vlog? A vlog is where I would video document the things that we do in a day. Okay. Okay. Good night. Goodbye. All right. I love you guys. You're <laughs> the sweetest. <laughs>